Howdy doody, my name is Susie and today I thought I would share with you some fall favorites, well fall favorites of mine, and that is a baked acorn squash, which is delicious, along with some mulled cranberry juice, which you can drink it hot or cold, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is so simple. Now the acorn squash, I'm a little bit late for the Canadian Thanksgiving, but I know Canada isn't the only country that's celebrating Thanksgiving. The United States also celebrates it in November, as does Grenada, St. Lucia, Liberia. It's also recognized in some other countries unofficially, but more like a holiday of harvest. So, so giving thanks for this year's harvest and also for a good harvest next year. So regardless of the holiday, it is autumn and it's at this time of the year that we've got an abundance of pumpkins and squash, which are delicious to cook. And today I'm going to be using the acorn squash. Really delicious. So we're going to slice the acorn squash in half. And you're going to have to add, put a little bit of power into it. And then just remove the seeds. This is so easy. For this recipe, all we're going to need is an acorn squash, a little bit of cinnamon, some fresh pepper, 10 dates, a quarter cup of walnuts, some salt, and some chili peppers, and then lime to serve it. And it's really very, very good. So acorn squash is actually a great source of vitamin C. Also the beta carotene, which is the orange color you find in vegetables such as carrots, etc., is the precursor to vitamin A, which is very good for eyes and skin, etc. It's also a good source of potassium, magnesium, and manganese. And there's a lot of benefits to pumpkin and it's great source of fiber really can aid in good gut health, just keeping you regular and on track. So the acorn squash, which looks like this, is known as a winter squash, although technically it's in, um, or botanically it's in the summer squash family, but they, classifier it's more known as a winter squash because it's known for its dark green um, thick skin so now that we've got our two halves we're going to fill them up but we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees so while our oven is warming up we're just going to season our halves So fresh ground pepper, and this is actually great for um, get the old circulation going. Fresh ground pepper, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of chili peppers. You just want a few flakes, and this isn't going to make it spicy. It's just going to balance out the flavors. So just a little bit of each. And then for cinnamon, you just want a dusting of it. So it's not even an eighth of a teaspoon. And the cinnamon again, cinnamon also helps control uh, blood sugar levels, but it gives it a little sweet, um, flavor a warming flavor to our final dish and then we're just going to take a pat of butter that's a pat and the next thing we're going to do just grab a measuring cup now i've got these two halves i'm going to just use 10 dates so five dates for each half so 10 dates, 
I mean, it's not the end of the world if you had one more date, one or less. So I've got my 10 dates in a cup and I'm just gonna add enough water. You're gonna add 10 dates and then you're gonna add just enough water to be level with the dates and that's gonna be about a quarter cup of water. And now I'm gonna put this in the microwave for 20 seconds. So after 20 seconds, you really just warmed up the water, water and you just want to mush those dates up a little bit and break them up. You can see, and just rehydrating them a bit. And then you can just add your walnuts. So I'm just taking a quarter cup of walnuts and some I'm just keeping whole. And I just want them in big pieces. And then toss your walnuts in your paste. And then you're scooping out half of the mixture and adding it to each half of your acorn. So it's going to take about an hour for the size of this squash to be nice and tender. It might take a little bit more. So we're looking at between 45 minutes to one hour at 350 degree oven, depending on the size of your acorn squash. But at 45 minutes, you're going to check it and do the old fork test to see how tender the acorn is. And at the same time, same time, you're just going to give those walnuts and a date paste, just a little bit of a stir, just to make sure that the walnuts aren't sticking out and burn. So while we're waiting for our acorn squash to cook, I'm going to make a mulled cranberry juice, and this is so very delicious. And all I did was I took five cups of cranberry juice. Right. And you can just note that this cranberry juice that I'm using does is sweetened. So if you're using um, a raw form of cranberry or unsweetened cranberry juice, you're going to have to add your sweetener to it in order for it to be palatable because we're not adding any sugar or anything else. So five cups of cranberry juice of your choice. And we're going to add just, just a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm using powdered cinnamon. And two clementines. Now I'm using clementines or even tangerines because the skin is quite thin and it doesn't have a lot of pith. Plus the, I find that the flavor of the clementines are more aromatic and sweeter. So I'm taking the skin of my two clementines and I'm just slicing it in strips. It's also said that orange peel is good for cholesterol or controlling cholesterol. So I'm putting my peels in my fruit. I'm just slicing it into pieces like this. So that's it, just the two tangerines and a quarter of a teaspoon of the cinnamon, five cups of the cranberry. And now I'm gonna put this on the stove and I'm gonna bring it to a boil. And then I'm going to simmer it for 10 minutes. I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'm just going to let it steep until it's cool or overnight. So I'm just going to turn my stove on high and I'm going to bring this to a boil. It's only been a few minutes and you can see that our cranberry juice has come to a boil. So now I'm just going to turn it down to a simmer. So it's been 10 minutes and we're gonna turn off the stove you can see how that solution is nice and hot and the skins have started to soften so now all we're going to do with the stove off is we're going to put the lid on and we're going to let it steep until the solution is cool so we've got 15 minutes on the clock until the acorn squash is ready for us to try so it's been 45 minutes Whew. Smells absolutely amazing. And now at this point, you just want to move it around. 
In the meantime, I've got the malt cranberry juice on the stove. It's cooling down, but I did make some malt cranberry juice four days ago and I've had it in the fridge. You can see the color has changed. It's become a deep brownish red color and it smells great. It smells very, um, there's definitely, you can smell the aroma of the orange peel infused into the cranberry. So you can definitely drink your malt cranberry cold as a non-alcoholic drink or in the spirit of autumn or if you're celebrating autumn, it goes great with a little spiced rum and this is a fantastic autumn cocktail. Oh my God, it's delicious. It's almost like a Manhattan without the bitters. It's really good. I would not be embarrassed to serve that to any of my guests, but we want to try it hot as well. So, so the color is definitely deepened. I don't know if you can tell, but it is deepened. So I've whipped up some whipped cream and all I've added is just a little bit of vanilla. So we've got our hot cranberry drink. And all I've done is just whipped up some whipped cream with a little bit of vanilla. And you just want a nice dollop. So now we're going to taste it. Oh my God, it's so delicious. It is so good. The combination of the um, that citrusy flavor with the cream is fantastic. It's kind of a little reminiscent of um, a creamsicle. You know how you've got that orange sherbet on the outside and then the creamy ice cream in the middle? It's the same idea. Now, if you really want to turn up your engine, Try adding half an ounce of that spiced rum to your hot drink and turn it into autumn bliss. Wow. Now, before I get carried away with my um, cocktails, drinks, We've got one minute on the clock until our acorn is done. So I'm gonna grab that out of the oven. So it's been an hour and our acorn squash. Ooh, look at that. It is ready. Fabulous. It smells sweet and caramelly and nutty. So let's take a try. Now this is really hot because it just came out of the oven. And you want to try and serve this warm, obviously. It's nice um, if you're able to serve it hot, but it also tastes really good at room temperature. And also you can slice these halves into quarters and because the filling is sticky, it will stay with each quarter. So each person is getting a little bit of the nuts, the dates and the acorn. Oh, I forgot the lime. It tastes fantastic. It's really, really good, but it tastes even better. with a little bit of lime, it really balances out those sweet, um, that sweet flavor of the dates. This tastes better than a pecan tart. So I hope you enjoyed these few little recipes. They're quite simple, they're economical, they're nutrient dense, and they definitely remind you of fall. So enjoy celebrating either Thanksgiving or fall.